Hello, what's happening? It's your boy Dollar Gaffis. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are out here and if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when I drop a new video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to design Jota like this. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, this is my color draw. I'm using a bloody version of color draw. Free free to follow up any voice, any version of color draw. So what next I'm going to do now is to create a new project. I'm going to do that by going over to this play of my plus and over here like this. I just go ahead and take it like this and have it like this. So what things I'm going to do now is to change the page to A5 size. I'll sing uh, A4 size, sorry. I'll simply go to the, my property bar over here where I have my A5 size. Click on the drop down arrow, then select A4 and have it this way. So I'm going to change the orientation to landscape. So I'll head over to my property bar again. Come over to this place where it says landscape. I just go ahead and take it like this and have it like this. So it doesn't this cover that doesn't allow me to use the feature of double clicking on my rectangle tool to fit into this my project. So I'll simply draw a rectangle like this, then draw it like this. Now head over to my property bar where I have my page size. I'll just copy it, copy it like this. Make sure you are not selecting the rectangle that you drew. So I'll just copy this side of the Figure, control C on my keyboard, then select this to your right angle and control V like this. Do the same thing to the other side and copy like this, control C, then control V like this. Now hit P on your project on your keyboard, sorry, to fit into your project like this. Now head over to my property bar where I have my outline pen to click on this drop down arrow, select not to get rid of the outline. And have it this way so i'll simply drag this onto the side so i'm gonna fill this my this side that i have now it's not it's not a4 it's not a5 it's no longer a4 anymore so i'll simply fill this my a4 a5 size to with this ruby red that i have over here like this and have it this way so what next i'm going to do now is to bring in the resource i'm going to be using i have it here with my page 3 i'll just simply highlight them Ctrl C on my keyboard, then come over to my project, Ctrl V to paste them like this, bring it to this side, then bring this side of this, this one over here, just push on it here, then change the angle, come over to your property bar where you have your angle of rotation, then type in night on your keyboard, hit enter, then scale it up like this, scale the raw paper up like this. Then I'll simply head over to my prop to my menu bar where I have my effect. Scroll, uh, this, scroll to this place where you have adjustment. Then scroll all the way down to the saturate over here like this. And I'll be this way. Then I right click on it and select power clip. Or better still, can right click then drag it to this your project. It, until your cursor changes from the normal one to something that looks like arrow shape. Then release it at the same time. I'm gonna pump up with a multiple option like this to move here, copy here, power clip here, or cancel. But for me, I we are simply going to select power clip inside and have it right inside my project. Now, make hold on on your keyboard to make a selection of your power clip project, power clip like this. Then position it over here. Then scale it up. Sorry, hold on out. Then scale it up like this. Yeah. So I'm gonna change the blending mode to overlay. Head over to your pop C bar, your choose bar, sorry, over here. Make a selection of your transparency to then head over to your property bar. Change the blending mode from normal to overlay. And I'll be this way. So I'm simply going to reduce the opacity to about 70. No. I think 60 60 will be fine. Okay, let's just make it 65. Like this. So sorry, let's just make it 70. Like this, so I'll simply head over to my menu, my property bar, my menu bar where I have my effects. I just I will come over to this where it says blow, then Gaussian blow over here, like this. Yeah, and have it this way. I'll just go ahead and take okay, like this. So, what next I'm going to do now is to bring in the Taliban image over here, like this. Scale it up and position this way. Yeah, just take your time and do it properly. So, right click on it, then select power clip. It's right inside your project like this. So, what next I'm going to do now is to bring in the test I'm going to be using for this project, for this Jota e e gather. 
so i'll just sim i'll simply go to my previous one that i did then highlight this type this side of the test ctrl c and copy it then come over to your project ctrl v to paste it so in case when i use the same font that i use the font for the text for is called belgium catherine i don't know how it is pronounced but that, that this is just the name over here like this i have it over here in case when i load it so as for the attending and sent for over with the prayer is called times new roman in case you want to download download it or you have it you want to use the same thing that i use that is the name for it so what next i'm going to do now is to create in rectangle over here like this over here like this yeah so i'll simply change the color from this will be red to yellow. Yeah, we can get out get rid of that line like this. Then head over to your toolbar over here like this. Make a selection of your shape tool. Then control key in your keyboard to convert this your box to curve. Then drag this side to this side. Like this. Then I just leave this little bit like this. Just try to portion you want it so let me take a look at the one we did there yeah so uh, i'll right click on it then select power clip like this it's right it is right inside my project so i'll draw in the right angle like this yeah so 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 i'll head over to my choose by again and select my shape to over here like this then pick up this side then drag it this way to give it this move the edges like this then i'll duplicate it like this then bring it to this side then reduce this one like this yeah i'm positioning it over here like this bring this one a bit like this yeah so what else I'm going to do now is to make a selection of this one. Then hold down shift on my keyboard to make a selection of the other one like this. Then head over to your property bar where you have your merge. I'll just go ahead, sorry, where you have your word. I'll just go ahead and word it like this. And have it this way. So I'm going to give it, give it a gradient like this. This will be red like this. I'll fill it with this will be red. Then press join your keyboard to select the gradient too. Or better say, can come over to this place where you have your gradient to over here like this interactive fit too so any anyone that you want to use if you want to change the shortcut is g but if you want to use if you want to go direct to the tools itself it is right here over here like this then now select the side of the red the ruby red then fill it this huh? then select this one then make it a little bit a little bit darker bring it that bit yeah so i will simply change the outline color from black to yellow like this yeah so i'm going to increase it in my property bar like this so i'll right click on it then select power clip like this and it is right inside my project like that so what next i'm going to do is to create another narrow rectangle like this over here a very narrow one over here like this so I'm gonna fill it with yellow, get rid of the outline over here in my property bar, then make a selection make a selection of your triangle again or rectangle sorry, then cut down this side like this. So I'm simply gonna select this one while holding shift key. So I'm gonna hold down shift on my keyboard and make a selection of the narrow one that we drew earlier. Then head over to your property bar, come to this place where it says trim. Now let's go and trim it like this. Then select this one, get rid of it. And I'll be this way. Now select this one, right click on it, then select power clip. And it's right inside my project. Now double click, on, double click on your project to open up your power clip. Then send this one to back of your page. Or bring this one to top of your page like this, country page up. Then select this country page up like this. Now I'll be this way. So what I'm going to do now is to copy the date and her name from the previous one that I did. 
so I'll come over to this place copy up the date control c on my keyboard then come over to your project control v to paste it like this so i'll simply adjust this one like this yeah so i'll copy her name also control c then come over to your project control v to paste it like this i'll simply adjust this one too So the font that I use for the date is called Tra Trajam Pro. So also applies to our name. It's called Trajam Pro. In case you want to download it or you want to use the same thing that I use, it's called Trajam Pro. Trajam Pro. Sorry. So what else I'm going to do now is to duplicate this side of the front page over to the back page like this. So I'll simply drag it like this. Make sure you're holding shift on your keyboard. Then. Right, right click at the same time to duplicate it like this just make sure you are doing it properly take your time to push on where you want it yeah so I'll highlight this stuff get rid of them delete delete then delete this one also and this is what we have left so what next i'm going to do now is to draw a rectangle like this right here like this duplicate it to this side again select the both of them ctrl g so hold on shift on your keyboard while selecting the triangles then select your project like this, hit C on your keyboard to centralize it like this. Then bring it down a bit. Yeah. So what else I'm going to do now is to bring in the other test from the side that says thank for thanks for coming. Thank you for coming. Ctrl C. Then come over to this place, Ctrl V to paste it like that. So I'll simply ungroup this one like this, then duplicate this one like this do the same thing to the other one like this then scale it up like this yeah so what next i'm going to do now is to create a rectangle at the bottom of my page like this over here like this so i will simply fill it with yellow like this then get rid of the outline so I'll head over to my tools bar, make a selection of my shape tool over here, then control key on my keyboard to convert it to curve, then select the side of the rectangle, then head over to your property bar, select this one that says convert to curve, then bring it down a bit like this. Yeah. I right click on it, then select power clip, and it is right inside my project like that. So I'll double click on it to open it up, then duplicate it again to the side. Now select the first one that you duplicated at first at the bottom, then head over to your color palette. Make sure you're holding shift on your keyboard, so we control on your keyboard, then double click on this orange color multiple times like this. Yeah, and I'll be this way, so I'll double click on it again to give you this rotation icon, then bring it like this. You click on it and the middle to give it your normal, your normal note like this, then bring it to the side. Boom, I have it like, like this. So I'm gonna power clip this image inside my two boxes that I have over here, like this. So I'll right click and drag to this side of the box, then release it. You see, your, your cursor will change from the normal to you know, something that looks like sniping shape. Release it at the same time, it's gonna pump out multiple options like this to move here, copy here, power clip inside console. I'll simply power clip it inside my project like that. Do the same thing to the other side and paste it like this. So I'll double click on it to open it up like this, then scale it up like this. Yeah. Do the same thing to the other one like this. 
double click on it to open it up like this and position it over here like this yeah now make a selection of the let me take a look make a selection of both of them like this then get rid of the outline like this so what else i'm going to do now let me try to increase this outline a bit yeah so what else i'm going to do now is to draw another rectangle like this head over to your toothbar make a selection of your rectangle to then draw a rectangle like this like this so i'll simply change the color outline color to ruby red over here like this then increase the outline like this so i'll simply cut out this side of the this side of the triangle i'll select make a selection of my triangle my rectangle and my toothbar over here then draw it draw a narrow one like this then hold on shift on your keyboard while selecting the, the one you draw you draw then select the previous one like this then head over to your property bar then come over to this place where it says trim as gonna trim like that so get rid of this one hit delete then select this one select your shape to your toothbar over here then select the side of the new come over to this place where it says break off i just go ahead and break it and double click on this side double click on this side again and double click on this side and i'll be like this so i'll simply copy the cursor from this side ctrl c on my keyboard then come over to this place where, it's, where you have your project ctrl v to paste it like this so i'm simply gonna adjust this one a bit like this yeah and I have everything like this so i don't know if anything is confusing just let me know in the comment section so this is how i was able to achieve this wedding jota like this please don't forget hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to be next time when i drop a new video see you next time